Let us have an introduction to Apache Zeppelin. It is a multi-purpose notebook which can be used for data ingestion, discovery, analysis, visualization and collaboration. Zeppelin works on top of Jetty server which runs in the default port 8080 which can very well be configured. It has an interactive UI to work with notebook and paragraphs. The settings can be controlled for the notebook and the interpreter which is going to facilitate to interact with other systems as well as using different languages. Zeppelin supports almost 20 languages and other components to interact with. It provides a very intuitive UI for the data that it's going to have as well as it supports user personalization, permissions, authentication and authorization. Let us have a high level understanding on the architecture of Apache Zeppelin. Zeppelin runs on top of Jetty server which is a web application which provides a UI in the port 8080. The engine that's going to work on top of the Jetty server that is the Zeppelin engine that provides a REST API for the other systems to interact as well. On top of Zeppelin, n number of interpreters can be attached to it. For example, I can attach a Hive interpreter, a MySQL interpreter or a Spark interpreter. Almost 20 plus interpreters are built in within the Zeppelin where I need to provide the configuration details about the systems where I am going to interact with. Let us take for example MySQL database. I'll be providing the driver, user ID, password, hostname, port. Along with the authentication details and the driver details, the interpreter can connect to the database. And from the Zeppelin, I can do any query that I want and the result that I'm going to get within the Zeppelin can be analyzed to do the visualization. And the same data can be used with other interpreter, for example, within Hive, and I can store the data. That is where it is going to be very useful to do the data ingestion as well as multiple users can collaborate. We can have multiple notebooks where it provides a beautiful UI where user can maintain the notebooks. This is how we will be having the UI where I can maintain n number of notebooks and uh, each of the notebook I can provide the commands that I want. For example, this is a simple Spark code Whatever that I wanted to do, I can give the instruction, I can get the result, I can do a visualization on the result that I have got, whatever different type of visualizations. In case if I wanted to do a pivot chart, I can do a pivot chart, how I wanted to group, what type of visualization I want, and uh, I can run various queries. And this particular notebook can be stored as a report, as well as it can be shared with other users for collaboration purpose. And in this particular course, you will be seeing about how to use the existing interpreter within the Zeppelin, as well as how to do the installation of Zeppelin, how to customize the interpreter, and how to collaborate, what are all the different type of visualization we can do within Zeppelin.